My name is Doug Sperling. I own Sperling Training Systems here in Kennebunk. But today I'm here to talk to you about something that I, I've really wanted to share for a long time. And it's, it's really my thoughts on where people need the most help and why the fitness industry is, is really portraying the wrong message. I hope I can keep you interested. Um, but I, this is something that I'm super passionate about. It's really me speaking from the heart. And I'm probably not going to stay on track. But I thank you for listening ahead of time. I want to start with a quick story. Last week, uh, myself and one of my coaches, Coach Trent, were letting our clients know that we were heading to a conference. And we go to a lot of conferences. We're always looking to better ourselves, meet new people, etc. And we probably go to you know a dozen or so conferences every year. And every time we tell people we're going to a conference, they so you know they have the same reaction like, "Awesome! I can't wait till you come back on Monday. You're gonna absolutely like crush me. I can't wait to learn the new exercises that you learn. I can't wait to learn like what the latest diet trend is." And for a while, like in my in my in my I say younger years, but in my you know years before, I I I, I kind of rolled with that like, "Oh, what new exercises can I learn? You know, what's the latest diet that's gonna give my clients results tomorrow?" Like. But this weekend kind of reassured that my mission and my company's mission, my team's mission, the people around me, the mission that I try to live by every day is that the fitness industry, they need help and I want to play a small piece in that because that message, those questions that those clients are asking, it's not their fault, but that's the message they've been delivered. Like, I have to be crushed. I have to be pushed to my limits. I have to be, you know, I have to eat like 900 calories a day in order to lose weight. I can't have a carb. Like what? So the my, my point is is like the I met a lot of cool people down there that shared the same me, the, the same message that fitness and and what we do is so much more than just the X's and the O's. It's so much more than the exercises we give you. It's so much more than, you know, the nutritional advice we give you. It it's it's about the entire package. It's about, you know, making sure that we're building up your confidence, making sure that, you know, you have somebody that you can, you know, lean on and and have a shoulder to lean on, have an ear to listen to. Like you know, people walk into the, people walk into our gym, and and you, you know, you ask them like, "Hey, how's your day going?" or "How you doing?" And everyone, good, yeah, it's, I'm going good. It's good, good. And you can tell, like deep down, no, that's like that's not the case. And too many people are like, "Oh, awesome," and they move on. And you know, the the fitness industry needs to understand that people, if you truly want to change somebody's life. They they need more help than just the exercises, more help than just the nutrition piece. You know, I tell people there's no secret sauce here. Like there's no there's no secret sauce. We I will tell you I, I will tell you that any exercise we do at our facility, you could do anywhere else. You could do it at your house. You could buy the equipment we have and you could do it at your house. But guess what? You're probably not. You could, you know, any nutritional advice we give you, you could probably find on the internet right? Any research that we give you on what is working for nutrition, we could give you, uh, you know, you could find on the internet. That's, that's really not, that's really not why we exist. Our, you know, I, I say in our marketing and our, our website and everything like that, we exist for one reason, to change your life. And I, I truly believe that. Like, I want to change your life and my team wants to change your life. If you're going to, if, if I can help you, I want to change your life. But it's not just about the fitness, like you're going to need help with your stress management. You're going to need help with your, you know, with your career. If you're going to need help with your family life. And I'm not here to call myself like a stress management expert or, you know, I'm going to go get you a job, but as a coach and as as somebody who wants to change your life, I at least need to listen. I at least need to say like, "Hey, I'm here if you need me." I, I know I know some people that can help you, or if you just want a shoulder to cry on, an ear to listen to, like I'm here, I'm here for you to listen. I'm here, I'm I'm here to listen. I'm here to help you. And you know, the fitness industry has has portrayed this model that you know, it's a gym is intimidating. A gym is like I walk in and I'm gonna have no help, and I'm gonna have all these people that are in shape, and there's gonna be all this equipment. And I'm gonna have no clue what to do with it. And, you know, 80, think about this, 83% of people don't belong to a gym. Like that, that to me is like mind blowing. And I get it. I, I totally understand it. I'm not blaming the people. I'm blaming 
and I'm not, I'm, I don't want to say I'm blaming anybody. It's, it's really just the message, the, the portrayal, the, what the public portrays as a gym is wrong. And at least for me, at least for what I do every day. And, you know, I, I understand why you feel intimidated. You feel that you're not going to get any help. You feel that you're going to be left on your own. You feel that you're going to be pushed to your limits and you're going to have, you know, people think they have to like puke to have a good workout or they like can't freaking, they can't brush their teeth in the morning and they're like, oh, that was so good. My arms are so sore. Like what? You're beating the crap out of your body. That shouldn't be the case. That should not be the case. Like I have to have 900 calories in order to lose weight. Like what? No, like there's, there's so, there's so much more to the fitness, to fitness than that. There's so much more to life than that. Like I, I feel that when I know we have one life, like we have one life to live and sure you need to be healthy. The fitness side of it is one piece, but I'm here to tell you that my team and I, and, and what we truly believe and the people that we met this weekend truly believe that there's such a deeper meaning to it. Like fitness should fitness should boost your confidence. It should you know reduce your stress, reduce your stress. It should allow you to sleep better. It should enhance your relationships. It should enhance it should enhance your life, not 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 beat you up. It shouldn't beat you up. It shouldn't drag you down. You shouldn't feel pressured. You shouldn't feel that you're being judged. And it's nobody's fault, but it's it's just the message that's portrayed and. I'm I'm here to tell you that like on the back of the shirt and my team wears these shirt every day, wears these shirts every day on the back of the shirt is the word coach and I think the fitness industry needs more coaches and what I mean by a coach is n they're not gonna just stand there and count your repetitions they're not just gonna stand there and tell you what you're doing wrong they're not gonna just write a plan for you or write a meal plan for you they're gonna they're gonna coach you like they're your coach we are we have a team of coaches that are here to help you and it, to be honest with you, it's this much fitness. It's this much X's and O's. And it's so much more about the motivational side of it. It's so much more to the accountability side of it, keeping you accountable. It's building the community and the culture around you. You know, it, it, it's it's the it's the self-esteem, it's the confidence, it's the you know, making sure that you're not stressed, making sure you're going home to a, a happy family or a happy life. You know, the, there's just so much more to what we do than the X's and the O's. And I think why people are scared of the gym is they think it's going to be this big, intimidating place. And people are afraid to change. Like, you look at somebody who needs to lose weight or somebody that needs to change their diet. And they're, they're just like overwhelmed. There's all this information and it's like, should I have carbs? Should I not have carbs? Should I do squats or should I not do squats? Like, what? Just... You know, like, yes, that's a piece of it. And we're going to help you with that. But how about like, I just, I just want to be happy. Like you're, if somebody who's not healthy is not happy. My goal is to get you to be happy. Like I go home every day to something that I love. And I, I don't think many people can say that. I wake up, I wake up every morning with this fire to go help people, to go change lives, to go lead my team. And I don't think everybody like there are a lot of people that are listening to this video that wake up miserable and to, to me that's like you're here you're here for for one life you got to be healthy because that's going to help you live longer but you got to make sure you're happy you got to make sure you have good people around you you got to make sure you're not stressed and to me that's why i was put on this earth I wasn't put on this earth to tell you what exercises to do. I'll, I may do that at some point because that is that is going to be a piece of it. But I want to I want to listen and see how I can help you. I want to truly change your life. So I want you to know that <clears throat> we're here to help. We truly believe that the typical gym does not set you up for success, and I I don't say that in a negative way. I say that, and that's what people think is the right thing to do. Like people think the right thing to do is to go crush themselves and to eat 900 calories and to not eat bread. Like you, you need to do what makes you happy. Sure. There's going to be some change involved. We need to, we need to change some habits, but it, it doesn't need to be changed tomorrow. And if you like fall off track, that's okay. We fall off track every day. Just jump back right on. And it's hard to do it on your own. I understand that. But that's why I became a coach. That's why I have a team of coaches that, that really truly believe the same message that 
We're here to help. There's so much more to it than just the X's and the O's. I want, when you walk into my facility, I want people to know that we care about them, not just losing pant sizes and getting stronger and, you know, having a six pack. Like, that's not my goal. My goal is to realize that my the hour that you spend at our facility is the best hour of your day. And I'm competing against a lot in some cases. I'm competing against your social life. I'm competing against your family. I'm competing against your work. I'm competing against all that. But my team knows that when you walk through that through, the, through those doors, this hour needs to be the best hour of your day. And to me, it should build you up. It shouldn't break you down. You shouldn't be walking out of there like, oh, I'm so sore. Oh, I'm so tired. Like you should walk out of there like lit up energized, whether it's going home to a good family, whether it's going home and you're going to sleep like a log, whether it's going home and, and realizing that things are going to be okay. I did one thing better to get me better every day. You don't need to overhaul today. You don't need to go home and just clean out your cupboards and change your entire diet. You don't need to go from doing nothing to working out six days a week. You don't need to just overhaul your life. But I challenge myself and I challenge my team, I challenge my business, and I challenge you to get 1% better every single day. All you need to do is do one thing better. And if you fall off track, get right back on. You had a cupcake, so what? I hope it tasted good. But guess what? You can't have a cupcake every day if you want to reach your goal. Okay? You spent some money and, and it, you probably shouldn't have spent it, so what? Get back on track. See if you can save a little more. You missed a workout or you or you haven't started working out, guess what? Go just go for a walk. You don't I, you don't need to come to my doors tomorrow. I hope you do, but you don't need to because I know that I can help you, but I would rather have you start with just going for a walk. If that's what makes you happy, go for a walk. Then when you need more help and you need more structure, I hope that you come to my team. We are here for three reasons to change lives, to create wow experiences, and to be passion inspiring. I hope by this video you can see that number three is a no-brainer. I am super passionate about what I do, and I feel that what we do, fitness is just a small component of it. Everybody thinks of us as a gym, and we're in the fitness industry. Sure we are, but guess what we really do? We're gonna change your life. And in order to change your life, I'm gonna need to help you, and my team's gonna need to help you with so much more than just that. And create wow experiences. I don't want you to be like satisfied. I don't want to be C. I want to be that A++ where you felt that you could just like you woke, you woke up and you're like, I cannot wait to go to the gym today. I cannot wait to see the people there. I cannot wait. And when you leave, you're not beat up. You're not discouraged. You weren't judged. You weren't intimidated. You had a, you had a group of people around you, both from my team and our, and our other clients, that well, we can help you. We're there for you. We've been through a lot of stuff together, and we're going to change our lives together. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you can see this pa the, the passion that I have for it. But understand that we're here to help and it's so much more than just the fitness component. So if I can help in any way, I'll leave on my email address below and please just reach out to you. I'm really just an ear to listen to and I'd be able to, if I can't help you, I do know a lot of people that, that can help you in, in any other ways. I'm not here to t tell you that I'm an expert in all these things, but I do know people that can help you and I do know that for whatever reason, I want you to know that at 26 years old, I absolutely love my life. Like I wake up every day with fire. I wake up and have a team of people that totally kill it. I have, you know, a, a happy family. I, I, I truly love every single day of my life. And I know that there's a lot of people that are watching this video that can't say the same thing. And if I can help you in any way possible, please reach out to me. Thank you.